Hey, it's Chuck with IndyCar Ministry and this week's installment of Wednesday Wisdom. As you know, we're just coming off the Easter holiday and in Easter, we celebrate this fantastic gift of freedom that God gives us through Jesus' death and resurrection. It frees us from our sinful nature. And I kind of want to visit that today um, about that freedom and our sinful nature and what we do with it. We're going to be spending a little time here in Galatians 5, verse 13. It says, For you have been called to live in freedom, my brothers and sisters, but don't use your freedom to satisfy your sinful nature. Now, while most times when people think of freedom, what do you think about? You think about doing whatever you want. No restrictions. No rules. You think about yourself. But if we read the rest of this verse, it says, Instead, use your freedom to serve one another in love. Wow. Being free to serve somebody. That isn't right where my mind goes when I think of freedom. But you know what? That's where it should go. Because Jesus freed me, and I should be so grateful, which I am, that I show that by serving someone else. Maybe somebody who doesn't deserve it. Uh, it says in the next verse, For the whole law can be summed up in this one command. And here's the challenge. It says, Love your neighbor as yourself. I certainly enjoy loving people, especially people I like. But what about those people I'm called to serve? The people I don't even know. Maybe people I know and I don't care for. That's where it gets tough. That's where the tension of living out this Christian life comes into play. And we all struggle with it each and every day. And sometimes there aren't any easy answers. I can't just say, go to this verse and here everything can be great. Uh, I'd like to hear from you below in the comments. Uh, how do you... Play this out every day. How do you work on loving your neighbor as yourself, or even more than yourself, putting other people first? Uh, just, just tell me how that plays out in your life down below in the comments, and I'll catch up with you again next week. Have a great day.